Brock Purdy, aka Purdy Good. Wow, does this dude just keep winning games and playing well or what? This is Sports Guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about Brock Purdy as his Cinderella story continues. Brock Purdy has continued to play amazing football as he has the 49ers at a 5-0 record while not throwing an interception to this point. In fact, Brock Purdy has also been super accurate with the football as his completion percentage is at 72.1% this season. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So here it is. How good is Brock Purdy? There's two answers to this question. There's the short answer and then there's the long answer. The short answer is that Brock Purdy is very good. Now let me go ahead and give you guys the long answer to this question. The long answer is that Brock Purdy is very good at what he does, which is playing quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. And not only is he very good, he also has a chance to be a special player. He has a chance to be an all-time great. Look, am I being a little bit premature when I'm saying that Brock Purdy could be an all-time great? Absolutely. However, great quarterback quarterbacks don't grow on trees. Great quarterbacks don't come overnight. I mean, look at Tom Brady for an example. When Tom Brady came into the NFL, how many people thought Brock Purdy was going to be a great quarterback? How many people during Tom Brady's first NFL season as a starter thought that he was going to become an all-time great quarterback? Now, the answer to that question is going to be very little, if any. Nobody thought that Tom Brady was going to grow out to be this unbelievably awesome quarterback that would win seven Super Bowls and would rewrite the history books in the NFL. But when I look at Brock Purdy's game, I'm thinking that he could absolutely be the next Tom Brady. I mean, holy cow. Brock Purdy is very poised in the pocket. He has an unusual amount of calmness to his game. He doesn't really panic whatsoever. He can throw the deep ball. He's very accurate with the football. He knows how to go through his progressions. He's very smart with the football as well. He has yet to throw in an interception in five games. That is very impressive for what Brock Purdy has done. And I know some people might say, oh, but he plays in the Kyle Shanahan office. Oh, he has Debo Samuel. He has Christian McCaffrey. He has Brandon Ayuk. He has George Kittle. He has an elite offensive line. He has the defense. So that means Brock Purdy should just simply look good. Even though that is flawed thinking in the process where I just stayed right there, even if that thinking were to be true, Brock Purdy is more than just a system quarterback. I mean, have you guys seen how poised Brock Purdy looks in the pocket? Brock Purdy plays as if there is no pressure around him. There could be two dudes coming right in front of his face and he would be like, okay, it's fine. Go ahead. Come at me. Go ahead and hit me because I'm going to go ahead and throw it over your head. And I'm going to go ahead and find Christian McCaffrey for the check down. Or if Christian McCaffrey is coming for the check down, let me go ahead and scramble. Let me go ahead and find George Kittle downfield. Let me go ahead and find a check down to Debo Samuel where he's going to go ahead and get a bunch of yak for me. For people that I don't know what yak is, that is yards after catch. And Debo Samuel is obviously elite at that. Debo Samuel is one of the top receivers in the game of football. And that's because of his ability to get yards after catch. So also Brock Purdy also has that to help him out as well. I mean, of course, he's got a pretty good route runner in Brandon Ayuk. He's always going to be open. I and mean, of course, they got an elite tight end in George Kittle. He's always going to be open as well. I understand that Brock Purdy gets to play under a bunch of luxuries that other quarterbacks don't get to play. But hey, you can't fault him for playing on a good team. You can't fault Brock Purdy for having a good head coach. What you can fault Brock Purdy for is that he just knows how to keep winning and keep getting opponents to get blown out each and every game. I mean, the San Francisco 49ers are basically a machine. And I've heard some people also say that Brock Purdy, oh, he's just another Jimmy G 2.0. Well, that's a false narrative. Although Brock Purdy does have some similarities with Jimmy G, he has the good parts in Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, Brock Purdy, he's clutch. He has has the ability to throw the ball quickly. He has a quick release. He's very smart in terms of knowing the playbook. But here's the difference between Brock Purdy and Jimmy Garoppolo. When teams send pressure on Jimmy Garoppolo, he panics and that's when he throws his interceptions, makes his mistakes. However, you can't just send the blitz against Brock Purdy because if you send pressure on Brock Purdy, he's just going to go ahead and say, okay, go ahead and hit me. Go ahead and smack me up because I'm going to find Christian McCaffrey for the check down. I'm going to go ahead and find the open receivers downfield. And I know that even if nobody is open, I'll just throw the ball away and live to play another down. That's what Jimmy Garoppolo didn't have in him. Another difference that Brock Purdy has is that Brock Purdy is more mobile than Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, is Brock Purdy ever going to be running the zone read where he's going to be running read option or speed option or anything like that? No, he's not going to go ahead and do that. But what Brock Purdy can do is that he can actually evade around the pocket. He can get past pass rushers. He can scramble to his right. He can scramble to his left. He can buy time in the pocket. And when you have a quarterback that can buy time in the pocket, that means that guys are going to be more likely to get open down the field since they're going to have more time to get open. And any receiver can get open. 
It's just how much time can they get open in. And Brock Purdy understands that game very well. When you watch Brock Purdy play, you can tell that he's clearly paying attention in these meetings and that he understands film and that he understands how to dissect opposing defenses. And Brock Purdy, he's just so nimble in the pocket. I mean, Brock Purdy, he just knows how to evade pass rushers. He's not mobile mobile, but he's going to be a guy that's going to move around in the pocket and he's going to say, okay, go ahead, try to hit me because I'm just going to step up in the pocket. I'm going to fire a laser down the field. And for the people that say that Brock Purdy doesn't have a great arm, guess what? Tom Brady didn't have a great arm either. When Tom Brady came into the NFL, he was picked 199. He was drafted in the sixth round and he had a noodle arm and he was considered to be very slow. Now, Brock Purdy is considered to have many of those same traits. Brock Purdy was the last pick of the 2022 NFL draft. He was nicknamed Mr. Irrelevant because he went with the last pick in the NFL draft. That's the nickname that you give to guys that are the last pick in a draft class. And Brock Purdy has easily outplayed that. Not only has Brock Purdy easily outplayed that, he has turned himself into an MVP candidate. If I had to end the season today, Brock Purdy is my MVP pick because of the fact that he's just so poised and that he's getting the 49ers to play dominating football. I doubted the San Francisco 49ers before the year started because I didn't know how Brock Purdy would recover from an elbow injury. But guess what? Brock Purdy has blown past that elbow injury and he's been able to play really good football and say, you know what? Who cares if I suffered an elbow injury? I'm just going to go ahead and work even harder in my craft and be great at my job. And that's exactly what Brock Purdy has done. I mean, he's thrown nine touchdowns. He hasn't thrown an interception yet. He's been super accurate with the football. I mean, he's doing everything that you're supposed to be seeing in a quarterback. He has literally played picture perfect. If Brock Purdy was a first round pick, everybody would be saying, oh my goodness, Brock Purdy is a superstar in the making. But because of the fact that Brock Purdy was a seventh round pick, people are saying, oh, he's a system quarterback. Oh, he can't do this. He can't do that. And they focus on the negatives that Brock Purdy has in him. But Brock Purdy is actually a quarterback that has a lot of positive traits within him. And the negativities that Brock Purdy has in him, he's known how to fix up those mistakes or at least mask them up to the point where he's not letting his play affect him. Now, we also talk about Brock Purdy as a smaller quarterback in the NFL. There seems to be this conception out there that Brock Purdy is an undersized quarterback. And although that's true to an extent, you think about how skinny he is, you also have to realize, hold up, Brock Purdy is 220 pounds. It's not like Bryce Young where he's only weighing 204. Brock Purdy actually weighs 220 pounds and he's only six foot one. That's not particularly small. That's bigger than some of the quarterbacks in the NFL today. That's bigger than Tua Tungla Valoa, who everybody claims to be really small in the NFL. Brock Purdy is actually perfect perfectly sized. He has good weight on him. His size is not that much of an impact in terms of the way that he plays. And he also understands how to move around the pocket very well. And he also understands how to execute a basic game plan. And obviously you look at the defense of the San Francisco 49ers. And also you have to look at the defense that the 49ers have. We know the 49ers, they are elite at what they do defensively. We know that Nick Bosa is a game changer. We know that Fred Warner is amazing at what he does. But I'm just watching Brock Purdy play. I'm thinking, how does this guy not get enough praise? And I get that some people are saying, He's a system quarterback. He can't throw the ball downfield. He doesn't have the world's greatest arm strength. He doesn't have the world's fastest speed either. And I'm just thinking, what does that matter? I'm thinking about how does he go through progressions? How does he go through reads? And so far from what I've seen with Brock Purdy, he's done an excellent job of that. He's done a great job of taking what the defense gives him. He's done a great job of understanding how playmakers succeed around him. And he understands that the operation cannot be done if you're not a smart quarterback. Brock Purdy is a very intelligent man. He understands how the game of football works. He understands how to be accurate with the football and when you have those combinations in yourself that means you're going to be a pretty good quarterback and if Brock Purdy can keep this up alongside with the awesome work ethic that he has in him this dude has the potential to be the next Tom Brady yeah I said it Brock Purdy could be the next Tom Brady I'm not going to say that he's going to go out there and win seven Super Bowls but what I am saying is that if he can be the Tom Brady that existed for the first five years of his NFL career I could definitely see that happening because Tom Brady on the Patriots from 2001 through 2006 he basically was a quarterback that was a game manager that didn't try any risky throws downfield, but he always was very poised in the pocket and he was always very smart with the football in his hands. Brock Purdy has the capability to do that right now. He has good defense on his hands. He has a good supporting cast around him, but Brock Purdy also understands that, hey, I don't have to do anything stupid with the football if I don't have to do that because I understand that I got my teammates behind me and then when they do need me to make plays downfield, I can go ahead and do that too because I got the poise and toughness to take those hits while finding these receivers open down the field. I just have been really impressed with what Brock Purdy has done. He is more than just a system quarterback. If Brock Purdy was just a system quarterback, then that means any quarterback would have looked good last year in the NFC Championship game. That would have meant that Josh Johnson would have came in and balled out when Brock Purdy got injured. But that's not what happened because Brock Purdy is more than just a system quarterback. Brock Purdy is a star quarterback in the making. And if he keeps working tirelessly at his work ethic and at his arm strength, he's going to eventually develop into a superstar quarterback if he hasn't already grown into that. Brock Purdy could very well end up being the next Tom Brady. So that is why 
like Brock Purdy is very good as he has remarking similarities to a young Tom Brady in his play style. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin Nash Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin Nash Tran and that Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin Nash Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.